Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television, and I'm here with Dave Weinbrenner. And we are in a new business that's available for rental right on, it's right by Main Street called yeah. Spirit on Main, right by Main and Spalding Avenue, right kind of on the corner. As we're recording this, I'm looking out the window at the traffic going by. Yeah. And this is right above your office. Right. Okay. So the idea, we, being on the Tourism Commission, we have thought that there were more uh, need for rentals. Uh, folks who are coming in on the Bourbon Trail or visiting our community. And so we were doing some renovations in our property here and we thought maybe we could add something in the back of our offices. So we have an Airbnb um, that's available for folks to come in. We can hold up to probably six people. Um, washer and dryer, Wi-Fi, full kitchen. Um, and the thought was is that folks could come in and be able to stay on the Bourbon Trail and have a different experience. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got other great lodging opportunities there in B&B, &B, and I'm not cooking breakfast. So <laughs> we're going to partner with our local restaurants to provide a coupon for folks if they want to have breakfast. We even will have the option for them if they wanted to come into town and go on the Cooperage tour. Mm -hmm. Many people haven't been to see where the bourbon barrels are made. Um, that's a neat opportunity to be able to do that. So we are uh, also have that available. So we're excited about that. And we've already had bookings from uh, folks coming in uh, all over the place, Wisconsin, Nashville, uh, outside of our community. That's so. great. But it's also a great opportunity that if there are people in our community yeah. who have family staying or if they just right. need some more places to stay, this would be a really, this is like staying at home. Yeah, we've got an opportunity for some wedding parties mm -hmm. have already booked and they're coming into town and they wanted a space that felt exactly like home. With the kitchen, with uh, uh, full established facilities, so you can have a lot of people and be able to enjoy that experience and then be convenient downtown. Absolutely. Um, so that's very, very nice. There's also a neat story behind the uh, building itself. Mm -hmm. From about 18, late 1800s up through the early 1900s, Mr. Miller had a photography studio here. Okay. And we'll see some of the pictures today that he took here and it had an actual studio. And then if you wanted a portrait done or had some other neat gathering, Mr. Miller was the guy to do that from 1870-ish up through 1920 or so. Wow. So some really neat photography that we've included in Spirit on Main is a take on the idea of folks coming in to our community. The Bourbon Trail is so popular, but also kind of a neat spirit with this building property. Mm -hmm. um, and we got that. We did a Facebook competition and uh, Mary Kay Bland came up with that idea. It was the first name that popped up in this competition okay. on Facebook, and that was really neat. It, we, we, it just caught our attention, and we thought, what a great way to be able to capture everything we're trying to do in this building. Absolutely, and you had kind of had the spirit going through it, because I know you had some of the different barrel heads, and you had this wonderful mural that's behind us as yeah, well. Yeah, Benji Mattingly was the artist, and I knew Benji from the community, knew that he did artwork, but I had no idea that he could do something like this. So we're super pleased that he spent his time and effort to create this mural, and so it captures a lot about what we're trying to represent and our history. We've got the brick wall that we maintained, and so, mm -hmm. In these old buildings, nothing is level, nothing is exactly perfect, but that really turned out perfect for us. But it is state-of-the-art here, and there are, in each of the rooms, there's climate control for each room individually. Yeah. There's a bedroom that has wonderful facilities there. As you said, you have the washer and dryer, so if they need to do some long-term, yeah. they can stay as well. And these chairs that you have, I was checking out, and they're really helpful, <laughs> too. <laughs> we, we have really prided ourselves of trying to do business with all of our local contractors. Um, the heating, air conditioning, the electric, the plumbing, the everything that we could get done here locally, we have done here. And we have so many great craftspeople, all the furniture that we've bought, those kinds of things we wanted to keep local too. So um, why go outside of our town when you can have great people who could provide those services? So we're really pleased with that. The quality um, I think is captured. We've had some reviews already, folks who've stayed. and. They really like that. So 
we'll have a chamber event coming up in the sometime in October, uh -huh. and we'll invite people to come down and be able to see and experience what we've created, and, and then we hope that they can share that information abundantly. Uh, we have a website, uh -huh. spiritonmain.com. You can go there and book. Love to see folks come there. All pictures of everything that's been done. Amanda Carico, my assistant, has been responsible for a lot of the creative design, a lot of the work that we've done, picking out everything that I am not good at at all. Amanda and the other ladies in the office have done a wonderful job of helping us with that. And so, um, so they go Spirit on Main if they're familiar and like to use Airbnb, Booking.com, VRBO.com. Those are other sites that work with us to be able to match up and have a calendar available and directions and all of that included. So, And get signed up for Spirit on Main. And kind of tell us a little bit, what's the pricing for something like this? Yeah, so we wanted to be comparable with our other lodging uh, that's out there, and we are in the range. For some clients who want to do a, a stay and have a Cooper's tour, or they want to enjoy some of our fine restaurants for breakfast uh, or lunch or, or whatever, we'll incorporate that in maybe a little bit above that if they want some of those additional uh, options, but the base level is uh, just what you would pay at a local hotel or other B and B. So, so we're happy with that. Uh, we also got the idea. Kim Houston in Bardstown, Nelson County. Uh, she and her brother had put together, I think, one of the first Airbnb in the community, and mm -hmm. we really like the quality that Kim was able to capture in, in hers, and have modeled this in some respect off of that quality. And if you're coming to town and you're not familiar, Dave is one of the good guys to talk to since you've been on tourism's board for yeah. a long time. A long time. It's forever. Been, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell you where to go, too. <laughs> right. So it's called Spirit on Main. Go to spiritonmain.com. Yeah. Right? Uh, but you can book everything. You can do everything online. We've got a computer code to safely come and enter the property and, and be able to stay as long as you like. And so it's one night, two nights, multiple nights. Glad to have those folks to be able to stay for as long as they want and enjoy so much that we have to offer in Central Kentucky. Absolutely. So it's Spirit on Main right in downtown Lebanon. Go and check it out online. This has been Gary White with Dave Weinbrenner. Thank you.